What's up guys, Juggalo23451 here and today we're going to learn how to clean your water block and the reason why is uh, eventually after time you're going to get some oxidation within your water block so what you're going to need um, I guess three containers as you can tell one for your screws and then one for either side of the water block uh, good old fashioned lemon juice uh, you can also use ketchup two if you really want just anything that has some type of acid in it um, you can actually use hot sauce believe it or not uh, that's what I use in the navy to shine uh, brass so pretty much anything that has any kind of acid content you'll be good to go let me just take out these screws real quick You're going to see uh, oxidation process basically when it took place uh, when I was using the heat killer 3.0 and uh, I already somewhat took it apart but then I put it back together just to see what kind of damage was done and uh, my fiance is probably not going to like me using all this lemon juice but whatever it's all for water cooling and all that fun stuff. Alright, uh, there it is. And this is oxidation right here. And uh, this is completely normal. And so don't say, oh, your block's messed up. This is completely normal when it comes to water cooling. You are going to get some type of oxidation. And go ahead and remove the jet plate I'm gonna put that in some lemon juice and then I'm gonna go ahead and remove the gasket if I can get it out of course because uh, they're always easy to get out but then putting it back in that's a different story so alright Got one gasket right here. Put that in the container. And then the other one. It's going to be a little harder, so pardon a second. Alright, I got it. And then um, put that in the little container. And it looks like this is going to be a little problem so I'm going to have to use a different container but what I'm going to do is fill it up with good old fashioned lemon juice and I think that's about enough and just let that soak okay same with this little deal I'm just going to put a little bit of lemon juice let that soak and then since that container is too small hopefully I have a bigger one uh, looks like I'm gonna have to do it the hard way if I don't can't find a container uh, I'll use the better of the two here one that looks pretty nasty inside looks like spaghetti crap stains and all that I don't want, I don't want that to my water block so I'm gonna get some lemon juice and uh, remember guys you're gonna have some metal uh, dealies inside your um, CPU block so make sure they don't go everywhere um, I'll try to take those out but if I can't and I know they're in Got one out. There's the other. Okay. Next, I'm going to go ahead and pour some lemon juice in here. Beyonce is going to kill me, but oh well. 
and I'm going to let that soak for a couple of hours while I'll take my uh, basically my nap or rest or whatever you want to call it. I just got off an eight hour shift and uh, after you let this soak for a while you're going to get your toothbrush and start cleaning. So I'll get back to you uh, as soon as I take my nap. Guys take it easy. Bye. Alright and now we're back. I uh, went to bed probably around 7.30. It's approximately almost <coughs> excuse me almost one o'clock so we're gonna go ahead and check out the work of what the acid did to basically clean everything um, on here I used to have a whole bunch of black crap uh, excuse me black crap that's completely gone but uh, just to make sure I'm gonna take my crappy toothbrush and then just scrub it around and I'm gonna clean it a little bit then I'm going to go ahead and get a plate doesn't need to be fancy just regular old paper plate and I'm going to put that on there and uh, basically the longer you let this sit the better off it is on cleaning everything and um, I'm just going to go ahead and clean everything right now show you guys like uh, I don't know if you remember some black crap in here Looks like most of the stuff got it worked out. Might have to get a Q-tip, you know, work it in there. But for the most part, it's really, really clean compared uh, to the last uh, video that I did. And I'm going to combine. Excuse me, I'm going to combine all these videos, so you can tell that it's pretty clean. And let me hold it up in there. All right. And also, um, since I am doing this, I'm going to go ahead and uh, basically going to rinse this off with good old fashioned distilled water, pick it up at, uh, get G's everywhere, pretty much any grocery store, anything like that. And if I sound out of it, that's because I literally just got up. Okay. All right. Let me get the one that had the most nastiness, I guess you want to call it. Just gotta get that out real quick. Uh. All right. Almost got it out. But uh here it is. Uh, remember all that black crap that was on there? It's practically gone. Gonna work my magic with the good old fashioned toothbrush. Scrub it a little bit just to make sure everything's gone. All right, and then I'll go ahead and clean off this thermal paste since it's going to be uh, there. All right. And don't worry about some of the stuff right here. If it's a little tarnished, you can easily make it brand new again by soaking it again more letting it soak in longer also I've seen people use thermal paste um, to make it shiny but there you have it see it's all nice brand new looks practically brand new and uh, I can now resell this block I always make sure that the products I'm selling um, are clean or basically like brand new and this is why I'm doing this I'm going to be selling this block probably for uh, got this block for almost 90 bucks when it first came out so I'll probably sell it for around 40 bucks or so but I am always always uh, a perfectionist and I'm sorry if I uh, if you guys heard that got a little caught me off guard but um 
always make sure your stuff's clean when you're selling it to people always and if I do sell something I'm like hey make sure you clean this block make sure you do this I'm not sure about it but I'm gonna make sure this heat killer is good and clean alright we got the heat killer all cleaned up and I'm just gonna go back over it again and uh, right now what I'm gonna do is dump out all this nasty lemon juice now I'm not even going to reuse the same uh, containers for what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to go ahead and get a new container. I'm go and I'm going to, sorry, I'm a little out of it right now, so I apologize. Going to take some distilled water. Always make sure it's distilled when you're using water cooling parts. And I'm going to go ahead and dip that in. Get myself a new plate, paper plate. Don't want any of this stuff. Uh, don't want any lemon juice on it and drying up and leaving any type of residue. So, and after you're done, put it on your paper plate. And then you can use a microfiber cloth. You can let it air dry. Anything you want. Just making sure everything's clean. Okay. And then do it, switch it a couple times in the distilled water. I'm going to double check, make sure it's clean as I can get it. And here's a shot of the bottom. Uh, basically, this is where this area goes on to the CPU. And these fans uh, right here is where the water passes through and everything. So I'll go ahead and do a close-up shot of that. Looks pretty good. And then we'll go ahead and bust out the main, uh, I guess the main block, the top. This right here is where your barbs would go. And then this right here is the mounting bracket. And uh, I guess these pop off pretty easily from what I've seen. But uh, this is uh, basically what the mounting bracket looks like. And... Um, I can pretty much uh, swap this cooler out and use it for an AMD if I want to. All I need to do is get new mounting brackets, which is pretty nice. So I might do that, I might not, but we'll see. You never know. But I'm going to go ahead and switch it around here. Alright, and then I am going to uh, show you guys again what it looked like, and now it is looks brand new, showing nice and shiny, and there you have it right here. There's all the products right here, and that's it. Um, all I have to do now is put the block together, uh, advertise it on OCN or a different computer form, and uh, send it off to the next lucky person who wants to use this block. But I guess that's it. That's what you need uh, to clean out your water block. Again, you're going to need lemon juice three small containers like these toothbrush and I would say and then I guess this is almost like a solid container I don't know I'm just grabbing them with distilled water 
So you want to fill lemon juice up with the little container, or excuse me, fill up the lemon juice in the, the small containers or whatever containers you have it, where you have your parts in. And um, I'd said, I think uh, soak time should be, God, I almost got done around, I'm just going to round it off at uh, 1 o'clock when I got up. So 9, 10, 11, 12, so almost four and a half hours. Uh, the longer the better, I guess. Uh, there's no damage of it getting uh, the where the acid's eating away the metal. I'm I'm assuming if you did it like for all day, that'll be pretty bad. But for me, doing it about uh, three to four hours, perfectly fine. So all I have to do now, as I said before, is put it back together and sell it. And I guess that's it. I hope this helps you out. Uh, remember, oxidation is completely normal. And anytime you change out your loop, you should probably take apart your block, look inside it, see if oxidation has occurred, and go ahead and give it a, I call it an acid bath, whether it be lemon juice, um, orange juice, lime, I've seen people use ketchup as I said before, but I guess that's it. Comment, subscribe, you guys have a great day, and take it easy. Bye.